Yes, the summer. Lovely. The ancients of Sodor enjoyed the beach days, people faffing about on beaches, and some going to various shops selling fish and chips. Arthur and Lee were taking the brunt of visitors and shipments. They were assigned to extensive shipment deliveries. At Brendam Docks, that's where all the chaos began. Alright, so... This... This is what we'll be taking today. It smells... Disgusting. Oh. Oh. Well, duh, it's fish. Where do you have visitors? Either we deliver this or they can just starve. They'll get the nick of top of them. I'd rather not think of that. Fuck! <laughs> Stumbling on your words now, are you? Yes. Actually, my point is we're under so much stress. Well, the sooner we deliver those fish, the less we have to stress about fat at it, okay? Uh, sounds good to me, honestly. Hmm? Yeah? It's not in my fashion if you let me deliver, but it's necessary by all accounts. Yes, yes, and my point exactly now. It's not easy for these people flooding in every summer, so I highly recommend that the both of you deliver this. Didn't need to see the... Sorry, it's just I can't take the stench. Can we just go? Uh, all right, all right. This one's a double header, so couple up. Right as they continued down the line, with them nearly arguing for an hour about the stress and stench, having to stop at Ellsbridge to finish their first delivery, Toby and Molly were hit by the whiff of the fish. They weren't too pleased about it. I say, I say, Arthur, I'm surprised you're sandwiched between several fishes, I say. Uh, how do you keep up, boy? What are you... Oh, I get it. Yes, you do. Please hurry up. I think a lot of people are getting the salty stench of those. That's weird. I thought it was weird. I thought I smelt ladies with the fuel for one second. I can smell it from her funnel from here! Hmm. And I thought my kipper delivery sucked. Well, no record. Good fucked. No both of you. Oh! Jacob, I'm gonna freak you for it! Come on, lady! I'm not assigned to that job. So, threatening me is needless. As well as your notions in spite of me. Wait! Like, there's a like. Yahoo! Oh, Boss, my sonic boiler! What are you thinking, lady? Arthur, you were the first to experience that. I know from my personal experience that overheating over lady is a very euphoric moment. Then why not get behind the train and pull me your fishing partner out of here? No, she can go shit on a cat. Wait. That's not what I meant. Fuck! I don't think much has changed since collections and chases. Uh, well, I'm still here working for these man-children. How enticing. Please, just leave. We're about to run late. Phew! Uh, excuse me. Let's try to go. that stench. Oh, lady, have you been dipping about? She reeks of fish, like usual. It's been one of those days. Um, you're right. It's been one of those days. 
being a Thursday. Hot as hell, smelly as hell, or so this. I need a drink. Goodness, Arthur. How could you stand being with her? Ugh. Well, someone asks you, she's magically immature. <sighs> Come on, lady. We have to finish this or we're essentially clubbed. Clubbed? Okay, no, we're not going there. Hell no. Where's our next stop? It's... It's... It's only next to you. You blind twit. Use your eyes! Wait! Fuck, you're right. Being magical probably made you the special needs engine. Fuck, you're right again! Fine, let's drop this shipment. The vans are empty. Much like me on the insides. I am pleased you delivered the fish, but can you please not jip yourself into the pond? This is the Kipper delivery, it's not the Olympic Games. If you do that again, well, help yourself, because I'm sure I'm not going to use my resources on you. I've always wanted to swim, and you had to pride my dreams of becoming a fish. I'll have you know that my Kipper in Lady, you have a few more stops. Now's not the time to be childish. Fuck! If you continue with your current behavior, I might as well just let Thomas help Arthur out. You're out of here drowning yourself. I need useful engines in my rally, not railbound chocolates. Due to the constant bickering between Lady and Arthur with each delivery to every stop, she was thrown into the sea at Napford. Not due to Arthur, but her recklessness. Fat had got word of it and immediately went to the scene. Already submerged? Again? Oh, bother. I told her to stay steady. Yeesh, what's gotten into her? So, sir, should we pull her out? Uh, no. She'll stay until she stops swimming with the fishes. It's ridiculous. That was very anticlimactic. Yes, it was. Can we just deliver this fish already? Because I need to have my good wa- no, Never mind that. Point being, I don't enjoy working with you, lady. You've gotten on my nerves. You've disrupted our deliveries too many times today. You immature, indecent scumbag. I I'm not a scumbag! <sighs> okay, I admit, what I did was wrong, but I am not a scumbag for that. I'm just- I just lost it up. You did. Please grow up. I'm genuinely losing my patience with you. Oops. And so the incident of Lady being a fish fanny and Arthur wanting to get scrapped, Arthur trundled home in disappointment, while Topham was pleased with their work, though not too happy with Lady's diving into every lake she'd find. No matter, the customers were pleased and he cheekily nicked some fish and chips and shared them with his wife. A lot of laughs came, as many broken tables were, but that's a story for another day. I bid you farewell, viewers, and don't be an exhibit for the aquarium. That's not very ladylike. Or just don't slip with the fishes. Shut up. Oh, I'd rather work with Thomas than this immature bitch.